Well, it might be a stretch to say he's been waiting patiently, but one mid-state police commissioner sure has been waiting. Well, he is the first to admit he wasn't exactly patient, but there's a good reason for that. And now the wait is over. Seth Kaplan explains. This is literally day one. And truth be told, not the day one York Police Commissioner Michael Muldrow had in mind for what's called night watch. These solar powered day and night vision camera systems that'll be moving around the city. It was my intention, and I'll admit it, to just uh, take the units when they became available, put it out in a cute location like downtown or something so we could have the media come by, kick the tires, take pictures. But officers said, wait a minute. No, if you're going to put it out on the street, can we utilize it? No Wait. time for a dog and pony no show. No time for a dog and pony show like I may have wanted to do <laughs> and a smooth, soft rollout. Instead, something better. We had had concerns and complaints from our residents in this area about increased activity of prostitution and drug activity. So once here, we had um, an uh, increase in shots fired activity on East Market Street, so one is there. This one. It's basically providing a 360 degree halo, if you will, view of this area of the blinking lights that you actually see up on the cameras and on the base of the unit. That's something that our officers that were able to control um, strategically and tactically. And then as we were talking to him, a resident drove by and waved him over. Hey man, remember I talked to you? They're see seeing activity in their neighborhood, drug activity. So now? We'll get the camera out. We'll get out there and sit on it. Like, and it's, it, you know people aren't gonna be able to do what they're doing when that thing is there. But then devil's advocate, this goes up in a neighborhood, the problem moves a block away. It's still a problem though, right? What do you do then? Then we move to the next corner. And then as, as the trouble or issues move from that corner, then we move it to the next corner. And can it result in a net reduction in crime in the city? Absolutely, we believe so. Our officers are excited. Our civilian interventionists, like with our GVI team and TIF. TIF low. This is gonna be a game changer for the city. It's uh, more eyes that can help uh, our citizens, our, our community feel more comfortable. Three of these in the city so far, they cost $45,000 each. The funding actually came from Wellspan. Muldrow hopes to get three more. We'll be able to bring a truck out, move it to the next spot and keep them guessing like they all, have always kept us guessing. Knuckleheads, they, they just running around and just trying to run the York City. So Aaron Handy's reaction to these cameras, which could deter or catch the knuckleheads? I love it. Yeah, I, we, need, we need to keep them crimes down. In York, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.